Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are talking about Stephen King's Carrie. This is Stephen King's first published novel. It was published back in 1974 by Doubleday. And if you're a little bit confused, no, I have not reviewed this book before. I gave a little bit, I think, a little bit of a review in my Thursday Theorist video. Um, if you want to check that out, you can check it out uh, at the end of the video. I'll put up a one of those card, not cards, but um, one of those screen things. Little squares right here. Uh, rectangles, whatever. Um, but you can go check that out. Uh, there are spoilers throughout. I, had, I connect it to the overall Dark Tower uh, universe. So if you want to check that out, please do continue on with the series. But be forewarned, there are spoilers for, throughout. This is a spoiler-free review of the book. Um, the book follows Carrie White um, and her mother, um, who is raising her by herself, and the trials and tribulations that Carrie White goes through at school. Um, I'm going to try and be as vague as possible. Um, if you don't want any spoilers like whatsoever, you don't want me to talk about the content of the book at all, why are you looking for reviews online to begin with? Get out of here! Anyways, um, but she, the, the story is there's a very uh, disturbing scene at the beginning of the book where uh, Carrie is, is bullied and then the book continues on through there. There, it, For a first time reader, I would say the, the main thing, if you don't want to have to reread the book to catch the theme, um, the themes are blood and violence. Uh, it's, it's a circular narrative. It comes fully back around. Um, so everything that is mentioned early on you know, is important at the end of the book. The book also has one of the best endings Stephen King has ever written. And it's an ending that I do not feel that the uh, the the film versions have gotten right. At least the the theater versions, the ones that got theatrical releases, because the uh, sci-fi one I, I can't even I can't even get through the first couple minutes of it. Um, but the the book itself is great. I I tend to like it more and more every single time that. I, I read it, and there's been some stuff that has happened in my life with my own children that has made me appreciate this one even more uh, than than before. I re I reread this. Uh, let's see here. I think this is about my fifth time uh, reading the book. Uh, the, at least my. And it's funny because in my review I said, and it was the review of the last time I read it. I said I believed it was four times. I can't remember the third time. I don't know if I ever finished it the third time. I know I started it the third time. I can't remember if I finished it. But um, every single time I've liked it more. The very first time I read it, I hated it. I was a young teenage boy. I didn't. I couldn't stand the book. Um, it bored me to tears. I didn't understand why he kept jumping around to these other books that didn't exist. Um, I didn't. I didn't get any of it. Um, but nowadays, the book is getting a high four stars from me, and if you want to read my review from the last time, I'm not writing another one because I don't have anything to add to that. Um, it is a spoiler review, though, so, you know, click on that at your own risk. It's down there in the doobly-doo. Um, it, it's funny that most Stephen King fans give this book anywhere between three and four stars. Um, you do have your your adamant fanboys who think that Stephen King has never written a bad thing and they give everything five stars. You are going to have those people. You are going to have those people who think that everything Stephen King has ever written is, is garbage. Why they keep reading Stephen King? Who knows? Maybe they're looking for a surprise. I don't know. Um, but Stephen King has written some some terrible, terrible uh, books like Elevation and uh, let's see here. I'm trying to think of the one dream. Well, Dreamcatcher. I know Landon's gonna be mad, but like Cell uh, from a Buick Eight has written some some bad books that even. Well, okay, let's go with the ones that he doesn't like. Dreamcatcher and Tommy Knocker. Stephen King doesn't like either. So let's stick with those. Elevation, I think, is his worst novel, uh, worst published work ever. Um, but with Carrie, it's somewhere in the middle for most people, and I think it's because most people have, most, most of Stephen King fans have experienced Stephen King, the rest of Stephen King's library. And he does get better. This is a great starting point um, if you want to see the growth of an author. Um, in fact, I would suggest reading the Bachman books before reading this one. Now that I've read, reread the Bachman books, I feel those earlier books, you can see Stephen King coming into his own and getting to the place where he was when he wrote Carrie. Um, a, little, a little side note is, this book almost never happened. Stephen King's career almost never happened. 
All because he threw the manuscript away. Threw it in the trash. And then his wife Tabitha came and took it out of the trash, read it, and I, I believe she I believe she's the one who emptied the trash in the house because there's another story with a trash can is um, regarding Tommy knockers that uh, we'll get to when I review that one but if you if you can't wait I talk about it in my Tommy knockers uh, Thursday theorist review um, but she she went in she rescued the manuscript she read it and she told uh, Stephen King to finish it so she is the only reason why we have Stephen King now um, so thank you so much Tabitha I appreciate you. I appreciate you so much. Um, Carrie, what did you think about Carrie? I'd love to hear a community, uh, just everybody sounding off. I'm pretty sure just about everybody who watches this channel has read the book or seen the movie. So I would love to just see an entire comment section of people's opinions of the book. Um, maybe not a whole string of spoilers, so maybe say spoiler alert before you go into any spoilers. Another thing is, if you want to see a spoiler review where I just go down and break down these books point by point by point, let me know as soon as possible before this one starts to erode from my memory. Um, because this will be the last time I reread Stephen King's, you know, collected works. Um, I did it, uh, uh, like I said, I, I think I said that I'm not sure I've filmed this video a couple times, so if I'm repeating myself, I'll just cut this part out. But um, I did it in 2003, 2002, 2003, then 2014, 2015, I believe. I reread his entire work. The first time was to prepare for the last uh, three Dark Tower books, and then again about a you know a little more than a decade later because I just wanted to. Um, and this time I'm doing it because I want to make sure that I have filmed reviews of every single one of his books and the best way to check off that to put a check mark in that box is to actually do them um, you will notice that there are some reviews that are already up uh, those are the newer ones like Sleeping Beauties, uh, The Outsider, Elevation um, Gwendy's Button Box, things like that of course we will tackle in the Institute when it comes out in September but and we will tackle the new Hobbit League Give Me book when it comes out. I can't remember what it's called. It's like In the Blood or uh, In the Bleed, whatever it is. I don't know. I'm super excited for it. Uh, let me know how you feel about Holly Give Me down there. Try to be not. I know she's not, you know, like the most popular character Stephen King has ever done, but she she's one of my favorites. Um, I love that character because she's a lot like me. Um, a lot of her traits mirror me. I'm not as I don't know mousy as she is, but uh, I I do have the same compulsion to get to the bottom of everything, and if you know me, you've seen that plenty. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!